struggle and worthy of our children's future. If it is possible, I want to continue to build a lasting basis for U.S.-Soviet cooperation for a more peaceful future for all mankind. The triumph of democratic ideas in Eastern Europe and Latin America and the continuing struggle for freedom elsewhere, all around the world, all confirm the wisdom of our nation's founders. Tonight, we work to achieve another victory, a victory over tyranny and savage There's aggression. There's a child on the south side of Chicago who can't read. That matters to me, even if it's not my child. If there's a senior citizen somewhere who can't pay for their prescription drugs, that makes my life poor, even if it's not my grandparents. If there's an Arab American family being rounded up without benefit of an attorney, it threatens my civil liberties. It is that fundamental belief, I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, that makes this country work. It's what allows us to pursue our individual dreams and yet still come together as one American family. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. In the end, in the end, that's what this election is about. Do we participate in a politics of cynicism, or do we participate in a politics of hope? Uomo moderno, adulto e pure talora debole nel pensiero e nella volontà, lasciati prenda per mano dal bambino di Betlemme, non temere 
fidati di Lui. La forza vivificante della Sua luce ti incoraggia ad impegnarti nell'edificazione di un nuovo ordine mondiale fondato su giusti rapporti etici ed economici. Il suo amore guidi i popoli e ne rischiare la comune coscienza di essere famiglia chiamata a costruire rapporti di fiducia e di vicendevole sostegno. L'umanità unita potrà affrontare i tanti e preoccupanti problemi del momento presente, dalla minaccia terroristica alle condizioni di umiliante povertà in cui vivono milioni di esseri umani, dalla proliferazione delle armi alle pandemie e al degrado ambientale che pone a rischio il futuro del pianeta. You know, it's time for us to rise up and live in the truth of God's Word. You know, there, in the day and age that we're living in, we, go, we have to be careful. We're going to have to come to the point that we're either going to live by God's Word and read the Word and rightly divide the Word and rightly understand the end-time prophecy, or we're going to have to go with all the fang dangle stuff and all of the, I'll go with our favorite teacher and whatever he's doing. I'm going with the Bible. Now, I don't preach much about Revelation, but I can tell you one thing. The things that are happening today, as all of this stuff is happening and coming together, uh, people being led astray, even the elect, which the Bible says, people that are going off on different, and in fact, Paul talks about it, says there'll be different doctrines and things will come up and people will be, I'm going to stay at the word. What the word? Stay at the word of God, no matter what. But you can't have unity unless you agree. <laughs> and the Bible doesn't agree with a lot of things that are being said and done today. All right? So all I'm saying to you, hey, let's stay with the word, rightly divide the word of truth, rightly understand the end time prophecy. And I'm going to tell you something. The things that are happening right now is right in line with end time prophecy. If you've studied it, it's right in line with it. I had the privilege of sitting under William Burton McCafferty, one of the, he, when I was in school back in, you know, in the 60s, uh, he was recognized as one of the foremost prophecy teachers in the Assemblies of God. I had the privilege to sit with my father in law and my father as they. And they devoured, they would study the end time and especially Dake and his writings on the end time stuff. And my wife will tell you they would, they would sit up all night and discuss end time stuff. You know, uh, not in recent years, but back there when dad, in fact, the first meeting my dad ever held when he left the church there in 49 in Van was at Brother Tipton, my that Brother Tipton that became my father-in-law's church and they discussed this. I've discussed it with Dad and, and Dad said, we need to be careful of what things that will happen because, you know, the, everything's going to rise up. One unity and unity, one religion, one world government and so forth and so on. Anybody ever read that in the Word of God? You ever read that and studied that? Hey, we need to stay at the Word of God and watch some things. Stay at the Word. Stay, just stay at the Word of God. Some people get upset at me, you know, because of what I, I stand for about faith and healing and then on grace. Hey, I believe in grace, but I'm going to tell you what. It's not, grace is not, Christ didn't die on the cross for what people are saying grace is today. 